Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial for Couture Creations. I've created this M fold card. It's using the Lucy's Everyday Stamps, alcohol ink markers and some other products and tools to create this card from Couture Creations. As you can see it folds into an M. It folds beautifully into a normal envelope and that's why I created this card because it's a dimensional card but also fits in beautifully in a beautiful envelope. I've also added an extra layer of the poppies on top of the actual image and also added some different flowers from another stamp set which I'll explain later but I do have listed down below in the description of this video all the products I have used for my card. So this is the front and it's also got an extra panel here and I'm going to show you how I did that and also inside too I have another segment or little panel there inside that I've created um, showing the some of the poppies and some of the leaves from another collection from Lucy's it's called the you go collection of the stamped leaf so I'm going to put this all together bit by bit and show you how I created the background too and it's not done with alcohol inks, it's done with alcohol ink markers. I coloured the whole card with alcohol ink markers and I'm going to show you how I did that step by step. Also this poppy here I've also coloured in with alcohol ink markers, I created a tag and extra flowers. So it's a beautiful little card. I wanted to create this not a red poppy, I wanted to be a little bit of an orangey poppy. And you can create them beautifully with the alcohol ink markers. So this is a stamp set that I'm using. It's the framed poppy set. It comes with seven other stamps, elements and word sentiments. It's a really good stamp set and it's a great card size for actually any card. You can use it on square, a tall and also the A6 card front. So it's a really good size for creating cards. So I'm also using the nesting die. It came from the winter collection that we just had. And it's a die with an insert. And I've used the insert to cut out some of the panels from synthetic paper and also blending card paper. That's just a mini die that comes with another leaf die from the Yugo collection. So first of all, to create the base, I'm using some the or the actual guillotine it's a 12 by inch 12 by 12 inch guillotine fantastic for cutting up 12 by 12 papers and i'm using this cardstock that i have from couture creations it's called charm it's like a dark gray it's really pretty when you put up against really bright colors and i'm going to cut it at five and a half inches so that 12 inch piece of paper i'm going to cut it five and a half inches and then turn it around and cut at 11 inches. So I have a section here that's five and a half by 11 inches. I'm going to use the scoring board now. It's a 12 inch scoring board. It's a really good scoring board as it comes with the instructions to make boxes and envelopes and also comes with a bone scorer. So I'm scoring at four and a quarter inches and also five and seven eighths of an inch and also at seven and a half inches. So there's three score lines to create this card and it's never so easy with this scoreboard. It's really nice and straight and you can use the bone forward to create the nice folds without doing any creasing or any cutting in your fold in your cardstock. So I'm firming down the edges with the scoring tool here and that's created my base of my card. So now I'm going to decorate this M fold card. Now I'm using synthetic alcohol paper and this is an, comes in A4 but we don't need all of this in section. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this section that's inside first and the leftover will do the part at the front. So let's just cut this and you cut it at five and a quarter inches. So the front part with the leftover will fit in beautifully with that. So I'm just going to colour this synthetic alcohol ink paper with my alcohol ink markers. And this is the technique that I've used today. You need some isopro alcohol. 
in a spray bottle and in a tube you need a nice rounded brush and you need your colors of your alcohol ink markers so I'm just now squiggling around some of the color I'm using this sort of gray greeny color because I wanted to create sort of like a greeny nothing bright too bright because the flowers are beautifully and bright and I just want to create this nice sort of subtle textured background so I'm doing this on synthetic alcohol ink paper it's the A4 size and I've cut it down to five and a quarter inches then I'll be trimming these once I've done the the, the actual finished um, alcohol ink markers background so I've just sprayed a little bit of isopyl alcohol and with my brush I'm just going to squiggle all that color around so it blends in beautifully now the paint will dry very quickly or the alcohol ink will dry very quickly and that's good because that's what I wanted to do I wanted to create sort of a very subtle effect and then with the spray bottle and with my air puff I'm just flicking on a little bit of color not color but isopro alcohol over the top just to give it a bit of textured water effect I really love this effect it really stands out beautifully and that's all done with the alcohol ink markers it doesn't even look like I colored it in with an alcohol ink marker so to dry to cut these all up I've got the measurements of each panel in the description below and in the blog each panel for this insert of the card and also the front panel as well and I'm using the quick dry adhesive glue to glue them on beautifully it dries in about two or three minutes but you have a little bit of time to move it around that's why I love this glue it's perfect it doesn't buckle it doesn't warp the paper it's really strong glue so I just cut that extra panel to five and a quarter inches and place that on the front so now I have all my side panels all decorated with my alcohol ink marker background so now I'm going to stamp a couple of this poppy beautiful tall poppy stamp now I did three of these one for the front one for the back and then one for some extra ones so I just did some extra flowers just to insert for the inside so with the nesting die this panel here at the front here I'm going to be creating a little side panel and also the insert panel with an insert of this insert die so this set of dies has a beautiful stitched inside die and I will use that and I cut out a panel of blending card for that panel there because I don't want to put alcohol inks on that I'm just going to do some stamping and some stenciling and this panel here I cut another one but from synthetic alcohol ink paper and colored with alcohol ink markers doing the same technique that I did previously with the gray background and then at the front I also did another panel here of the blending cards uh, cardstock and I just cut a little bit off here just to add it underneath my stamped image so that's how I created those panels so to create this panel here with stenciling and also stamping the beautiful leaf and coloring them in with alcohol ink markers I'm going to show you a fabulous tool now this is a new release um, oh this is a stamp first this is a stamp that I'm using that Go, you go girl collection stamp it's a leaf branch and this is a code and it's still available if you need to purchase it this is the magnetic artwork station and this is a great tool for stenciling and also stamping and holding in place your stencils and your stamping projects while you're doing it I'm finding sometimes the stencil moves when you're doing some brush work with it or when you're using some mixed media so this is a great tool it's a magnetic base it's got rounded edge so you don't hurt yourself it includes four strong magnets and also um, the actual surface is magnet magnetic and also there's a magnetic ruler as well and these magnetic ruler and also the board is all in inches or and in centimeters around each edge the size of it is just under 12 by 12 inches so this is a really great tool 
for showing you now how to do some stenciling and brushwork and stamping on this beautiful platform. So this is one of the nesting die segment here that I'm going to be using it to do some stenciling. So I'm placing the magnets on each end and I'm also going to use the ruler too to hold in place the one section of that piece of paper and I'm going to use a stencil and also a blending brush and also some pigment ink. I'm using the Card Deco Olive Green Pigment Ink. So this is a beautiful stencil I'm going to be using and using the magnetic magnetic holders and also the magnetic ruler you can place that on top of your projects really easily and using the extra magnets place that all over your stencil and on your paper you can put that magnet so strong that you can actually put it on your paper and on your stencil and it sticks like really really good so this is the alcohol no, the olive green stamping pigment stamp ink and I'm just using that with a brush to brush on over the stencil to create a beautiful textured background and you can see how the magnets hold all together the, the stencil and the paper while I'm doing this so this is a really good tool for doing this types of work mixed media work I'm turning it around and doing the other side exactly the same so holding the stencil over the paper and using the magnets and the magnetic ruler to hold in my position and hold in my stencil while I cover and brush on ink over the stencil really good if you've got those layered textures stamp stencils and also if you've got stamp sets that need to be in the correct, correct position you can really line them up with all the grid lines as well so that's my segment in the middle section in the middle now I'm going to stamp the leaf and I'm using the stays in place alcohol ink pad it's called the khaki color and I just find that this is great working on porous surfaces and non porous surface but this surface here is a blending card and this is great for working it's a pearlized beautiful sheen to it when it's dry and then I'm just going to color in those leaves with alcohol ink markers and I've listed the colors down below now also I've got that beautiful little flower that you might see in the little front section of my card and inside it's from this homely florals collection and this stamp set has a nice little flower and I'm just going to stamp with my outline ink pad in black about six of these and color them in and cut them out with my scissors and I've added those onto my card on the front inside and at the end on top of my tag so here are some close-ups of my card I also added a little topper there on your birthday it's from the homely florals ephemera set I have the code down below of that ephemera set and you see the little beautiful flowers that are stamped on the bottom there that I added those with foam tape so inside my card I've created some more poppy flowers just to add some more color and also they've been added on with some foam tape as well Thanks for joining me here today. I hope I inspired you to have a play with Couture Creation products, alcohol ink markers and have a look at these new stamps that have been released called Lucy's Everyday Stamps. This is the Tall Poppy stamp set and there's some other ones available. Be sure to visit couturecreations.com.au for more inspiration from the design team members and also from the blog as well as all new products that are coming through. Thanks for joining me here today. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.